Right now, about 60 soldiers from Fort Eustis are headed to West Africa to aid in the fight against Ebola. Deanna LeBlanc now is at the base, and that's where the deployment ceremony just wrapped up. And Deanna, what will these soldiers be doing? Well, Don, these soldiers are part of the 53rd Transportation Battalion, so they'll be aiding in logistical support. They won't have any direct, contra direct contact with any sick people, but even so, the soldiers did undergo some training, and they will carry both protective clothing and protective supplies just in case they need to use them. Now, yesterday, General Martin Dempsey announced that all Army troops in Africa will be monitored. They're monitoring both their temperature and their symptoms while they're in Africa, and that monitoring will continue. Continue for 21 days after they return. Now, these particular soldiers just returned from a deployment to Kuwait in April. They only got the call from the Army three weeks ago that they would be needed to help in this different fight. It's a humanitarian effort, something they're not quite used to. We were a little bit surprised. I, the unit hasn't been back that long from their last deployment, uh, but it's, it's something that we're all excited to be a part of. Uh, you know, this is one of those missions where we're going to go and we're going to make a difference for the world. Uh, by what we're doing in this mission. And these soldiers will be moving both medical supplies and building equipment as they come into Liberia from both air and sea ports. And all of that equipment will be used by other troops and other, uh, other support groups to build medical treatments as needed to treat those people who do have Ebola. Live at Fort Eustis, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.